What's up, Wastelanders? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great, and I hope you are too. It's me, Kiki B. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kiki B Plays Fallout 76. In the glass walls video last week, I showed a bit of this build because it's a good example of one way that you can use glass walls as an accent in a build to give something a completely different look and feel. And personally, I feel that the greenhouse walls really shine in sort of supporting roles in builds. So today I'm going to show you how to build this great little shop with an industrial style loft apartment above. It's a nice easy build without much in the way of crazy tricks or complicated techniques. But before we dive in, if you love what I do here and you're interested in supporting this channel for just three bucks a month, come join our Patreon family. If you're quick about it, you can even get your name in the credits of my videos and who wouldn't want that? Head on over to patreon.com slash or click on that link down in the description. And of course, join us over on Instagram at kikibplays. We would love to see you there. Now let's get building. Of course, we start with a foundation, and I'm laying down a 2x6 floor. The first two will be the porch thing, the back two will be the stairway to the loft, which leaves us a 2x4 area in the center for our cafe. I'm building this a full two stories high because I want a living space above the cafe, but if you don't want to add an apartment on top, you could make it one and a half walls high and follow along with the rest, and I'll tell you as we go what you might need to change if you're going with that style. So go ahead and wall the whole thing in, leaving the porch open, and double wall to separate the stairwell from the cafe. Before I place 1x2 staircases, I always wall in the whole area around them, above and below, because it can sometimes be difficult to add walls in around them later, but it's easy enough to remove the walls later if you realize you don't want them. Now, because I'm using the new first responder build set from the end of Season 8 scoreboard, I'm going to use half walls on the upper floor so that I can get a little more variation on the outside of the building. The half walls in this set consist of a plain and a windowed variant, as well as one with a round air vent that looks really, really nice. Now we've got a large box-like thing, which is boring, but it's going to get better. You can change some or all of the walls at this point to whatever it is that you want them to be eventually, or you can wait till the end to decide what you want to do. I'm going to change these full walls at the back of the cafe into half walls because I'm going to be creating a small kitchen back here and I want to use the pieces with the air vents there. It also breaks up the monotony of the full wall pieces on those long sides of the building, which is never a bad thing. Now we're going to put some greenhouse walls on the front of the building, and I later changed the first walls on each side to glass as well, because it just looked a lot better that way in my opinion. Next up we need to put down some temporary walls around the porch. These are going to support that big overhanging chunk where the sign is going to be. You can use any wall here, doorways are best since it allows you to move around more easily while you work. And then we're going to put some half walls on top of these. And I'm just using the glass here because they're what's closest in the build menu and I'm lazy. And I'll change them to different walls later. So you want one half wall on each side here and two on each front piece. We'll add the rest on the sides later, they're not really relevant right now. Next up we're going to do some stuff with roofs and pull out these lovely corner flat roof pieces from the first responder set. Go ahead and place those down so you've got the trim wrapping around all the sides here. And now, because I'm not wearing a jetpack, I'm going to put down a temporary staircase so I can get up here easily. At this point, I've decided to go ahead and put down the back staircase and floors for the apartment. If you're going with a shorter building with no loft, just put down plain flat roofs here instead of the floors. This will give you a ceiling inside the cafe, which is going to look a lot better than having a really tall room height in there. If you're doing the shorter style building, you can either leave off the back room altogether or use that for a storeroom or to expand the kitchen. Now since we have walls around the stairwell, the game is really bitchy about attaching floors there, so I ended up having to run outside and find a place where a half floor would snap, and then run some floors around till I could snap them inside. I didn't think to actually just place another staircase inside and snap the floors to that and then get rid of the staircase, but you could do that and it would be easier. So anyway, finish placing your floors or plain flat roofs if you're going that way, and then we'll turn our attention back to the front of the building again. 
It's time to get out our handy dandy flamethrower, because am I even building if it doesn't involve a flamethrower? Probably not. Anyway, break those half walls and then stack up a couple of tables so you can break the upper pieces as well. Now as far as the game is concerned, these walls no longer exist or something and therefore no longer require support, so you can get rid of the temporary walls below. Before we can do the next step, we need that beautiful roof trimming out of the way for a few minutes, so change those to plain flat roofs. Now I'm going to change these floors to tiles so that I can more easily line up the next bit, and then grab a rug. The big vault rubber mat is a good choice, or this one, but you don't want one of the really huge ones. The daisy rug would probably also work. Anyway, place that down, and then you're going to grab this big old Slocum's billboard, or any big neon billboard that you like, and place it on the rug so that about half the footprint of the billboard is on the rug. I'm just checking to make sure it's nice and straight before I move it, and now we just pick it up by the rug and slide it out over the edge of the roof a bit. Now you can check to see that it just barely clears the roof trim, and if it looks good, go ahead and change those roofs back, and then we can repair the walls in a second. Now, if you look over here, you'll notice that the connection point for the wiring on this billboard is a little higher than the wall next to it, so you'll easily be able to wire it after you finish the rest of the build. Anyway, fix those walls, and I'm changing them to the Brotherhood half walls because I really like the look. You can also use the Enclave half walls, or just stick with the first responder ones, that's totally up to you. Now go ahead and add a second half wall onto each side, and then we're ready for the roof. Yes, we can snap roofs right over this billboard, and I have no idea why this works, but I'm not complaining. If you're going with the shorter building height, you'll still be able to snap roofs on here, even though it's only half a wall high. And see, our connector still clears the height of the trim. Back down in the loft, go ahead and put a couple of walls in here to block off the billboard space. And I actually really like that the windows in this set are blacked out, because you can use windowed walls in places that you normally wouldn't. Uh, in this case, from inside the loft, it looks like you have windows on the front. If you like, you could make one of these a doorway and use this as a sort of storage space for the apartment, maybe clutter it up with some crates or boxes or something. Anyway, now it's time to finish up the roof. I'm going to go ahead and wire up the building now, and I'm just running some conduits along the middle of the roof, which will cover the whole building, with the exception of the outer edges of the floor on the ground level. But I don't feel like that's an issue, unless you plan to put small lamps on the edges of the floor down there. Uh, I'm taking a very simple and practical approach here and putting a small generator in the middle of the roof. Because it's up high and in the middle, nothing can shoot at it from down on the ground, so it won't get broken by random attacks. Now that we've got the building wired, this looks so great. You can go ahead and wallpaper the inside, and I want to wall off my kitchen here. For some reason it doesn't want to let me, so I'm just going to temporarily remove these floors, put some double walls in, and then replace the floors. Now, if you want to, I recommend adding a couple of streetlights out here just to add to the overall atmosphere of it. Sometimes it's those little details that really make a build special. And now we're all done here, so let's take a look at the finished thing.
That's it from me today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to make sure that you are subscribed and you've turned on channel notifications so that you don't miss out on the next absolutely amazing video. If you enjoyed this and you're interested in supporting this channel, check out that Patreon link down in the description. Join us over on Instagram. And with that, folks, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.